hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with a lupan movie reaction and today i'm going to react to dead or alive okay now before we start i want to talk about something uh first of all like from the next week onwards i'm going to kind of like do lupan movies but i'm going to do it in an alternative manner i also got to know that there are a lot of lupan uh i think tv specials they were called uh, like one hour one and a half hour uh, big episodes uh so which are there's quite a lot of them i think like three or four of them so what i'm going to do now is like this week i'm like reacting to this movie dead or alive the next week i'm going to do a special which is called uh bye bye uh bye bye Li lady liberty or goodbye lady liberty uh this one and then again the next week i'm going to do another movie and i'm going to do it like this unless and until uh the movies and the tv specials end and uh, you know after it ends i'm going to i plan on starting reacting to lupan uh anime series uh, not from the beginning but from uh part four and while i'm reacting to part four in my spare time i'm going to like you know watch uh the first part the second part and the third part i'm not making reactions out of those because there is a lot of episodes i i think i counted there were like 300 or such episodes in the first three parts not 300 but something like that 250 or something so like from to make a reaction out of all of them is quite impossible for me so i'm going to watch that on my own binge it on my own and the reactions i'm going to start is from part four rupan movie uh, uh not sorry sorry not movie rupan anime from part four five and six is going to come out soon i think and after those two parts end i'm going to react to six so this is what i'm going to do so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know about that so anyway so today i'm going to react to dead or alive uh this is another rupan movie so yeah without further ado let's get started and uh, yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is the preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> okay let's see what this is quite newer i think it's it this came out in 1996 which is quite recent you know comparing it to other the other movies excuse me Ah, all right. Oh, it's like graveyard. Okay. Prison. Oh, well, this guy looks like a bad guy. <laughs> oh, he even has a monocle. Oh. Oh, th this is a prison. Okay. Oh. Whoa, they're selecting peoples. Damn, his lighter fancy as hell. Oh, wow, great. What? Why select these few people? Five minutes. Um, what the hell? Like a sick game that they're playing? Oh yeah, it is a game, okay. 
Wow, great. What? Oh! Wait, what? Whoa! Wait, they got a- where did they get a car from? Is this Rupan? Is this him in disguise or something? Or maybe not. Oh, whoa. Um. <laughs> he just used his mouth as a holding, you know? Okay. Oh my god. Whoa, this is some serious stuff. God, there's like helicopters with rockets and stuff just for a prison break. Whoa! Okay, I think this is going a little overboard, like bringing out airplanes and helicopters with rockets. Oh, he also has one. <laughs> well. All right. Okay, the helicopter is still on their tail. Wow, it's a homing missile. Oh. Okay. Ooh. There you go. Well, I knew it. Like, who else would even do this? <laughs> so, this is the first time the prisoners actually broke out, that means, isn't it? They said something like no one was been, had been able to be successful before. Oh, what happened to the city? It's like broken. Some kind of <laughs> over the weight limit. Wow, the, the art style is really nice. I like it. God, like the maneuvering skill. Oh my god, this looks like some kind of demon lord's lair or something, you know? <laughs> like, you know, in video games, the last boss battle, you arrive in a place like this and fight the last boss. Oh boy. Whoa. Is that a ship? What is that? Oh, it. Okay. General Headhunter. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Rupan's face seems really changed in this art style. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Last thing. 
Okay. Hmm. Oh no, will it start moving or something? Oh! Oh no, it's just an earthquake, I think. Or maybe not. Okay, so that's like a huge... I don't know, like deposition of soil or something that has been deposited on for a long time that it, it like made a little hill. What's that noise? Music? Oh, that's a BGM. I thought, what is that noise coming from? Oh. Hmm. Like hands and everything. Oh, okay. What's happening? Okay. Yeah, time to show your magic. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Um. This is like oh yeah, some kind of bio -auth authentication device or something. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh. No, it won't work. I think. Oh, oh, wow, this is like some futuristic stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe you should run. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, it was full of traps. Like, look at this place. Oh, it's even outside. God. What the hell? Okay, I don't think this is like, this must be some kind of alien technology. Like, what is this? Oh, God. Okay, so you need someone who is um, registered to the device, the authentication device. Otherwise, you won't be able to get in. The traps will try to kill you. <laughs> he still has the <laughs> skeleton in his back. This is national computer. Then the end of fault. Ah. Spanish.
Hmm. Oh, this guy. <laughs> mm. Okay. Wow. Whoa, who the? Are those little kids who are? I think so. Yeah, the little kids. Oh boy. God, you are apples. Oh, oh. <laughs> Go back, dude. It's not worth it. <laughs> Uh, like a group, they don't have enough. Whoa, what's with his hair? His or her, I'm not sure. That's a boy or a girl. Hmm. Uh, this place really looks like some kind of post-apocalyptic, uh, like, you know, town where everything has been destroyed. And there are still people living in there, and damn, it's like some defense. Okay. Whoa! Oh, is this a headhunter? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let me guess. Is that Fujiko? It's Fujiko, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ha! Okay. Woo! Okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh! Nice! But yeah, she has the power. What the? What type of a... <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. Whew. There you go. Why is she? What is she doing here now? I'm I'm sure she's <laughs> for the treasure or something. God. Okay, let's... Ah, Zenigata! Damn, Zenigata's chin! What? <laughs> Prices? That's a cool name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy he's like oh god oh
Hmm. All right, the whole cast is here. Wait. Wait, who's that? Okay. Oh, punish. Okay, okay. Yeah, I remember the the prince, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Oh, that's a daughter. That the blonde haired girl. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Okay. Is that? Yeah, it's Rupan. Oh my god. He's <laughs> just eating and he'll he'll be like in the sky, it's all. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> and there it is on top. Uh, Headhunter's daughter. What? Coming f I'm coming. <laughs> Rupan 3. Oh. Ah, boy. Okay. That is her. You can't trust anyone. Who knows? Maybe Lupan sneaked in with some disguise or something. Okay. There he is. Oh, <laughs> boy. Okay, is that Rupan? Who is that? Oh, took a disc. Wait, what? Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, it's going on, isn't it? Yeah, boy. Whoa! Going on. <laughs> okay, so where's Rupan? There's Jigen. What? Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Come on!
<laughs> yeah, that, that's the empty playing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh! Oh, it directly made a hole into the daughter's room. Oh! <laughs> yeah, like what? That won't work. Okay, was that like a fake girl or something? I think so. Yeah, there you go. I knew it. It was something like that. That's why she, his Zengata smiled out looking at. So who was that girl? Like a decoy. Who is this? And it's not even the real girl. So. <laughs> For example, the location of the <laughs> mm. what, what what's he doing? Is that this Uber? Wait, is that like a security cam? Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> Zenigata was fully prepared this time! Oh. I'm guessing the ring also has some kind of transmitter or something? Okay, um, oh, wait, they're already here this fast. <laughs> Damn, come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Ammo cost way too much. Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh, wait, she had a gun with her. <laughs> they should have, like, searched her. Is that Conan's voice actor? Detective Conan?
I think so. Okay. All right. Hmm. Oh! Yo, the, the, the shooting rockets! Great. Yeah, I don't think this will work. My god. Yeah, they won't stop. Oh, they what the? Great. Like one thing I always think Zenigata should come with a whole police force, but obviously he cannot because the thing about Rupan is very what can I say? Something that he cannot involve the whole police force in. Um, lady. Okay, thank God the gun is. Yeah. Oh, wait, is she like the, the friend of the daughter or something? Is that why? <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, it is Spanish. Okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where's the girl? Wow, okay, the pi is there throwing pipe bombs now? Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, where did the girl go? Okay. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh, oh, Leander. Wait, what? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, okay, now what? <laughs> oh my god. Right. Yeah, like <laughs> Zenigata can't even do anything. Their their place, their rules, I guess. You know. Mm. 
Yeah, right. Oh God, wow, great. Ugh. <laughs> Damn, what's with his nails? Like some kind of... Okay. Huh. <laughs> okay, so As always, <laughs> she's the secretary. <laughs> oh boy. And I'm guessing she's, she's trying to get some kind of clue to get the treasure. Conversation partner. What? Oh, she's talking about the dad, okay. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing she's going to contact Rupan. What? What's the... Oh, she's trying to find out uh, if Vanish was here or something. I don't know. Or maybe she's asking for Ruban. Either of that. Oh, no, I think she's asking about Spanish. Great. <laughs> wow, she searching him from all throughout the night. Hmm. 
So he's been searching for him non stop for like one, two days. I'm following her? Yeah. Whoa, what the? Um, please. Oh, God. Oh, oh! Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, the snake will be annoying. Oh! oh God, oh, my God. Yeah, that's why you don't wear these type of things. It's, he had, like, a thorn ornament in his head. Okay. Yeah, people are following her. <sighs> oh, let's bar. Okay. Her, her place. Why did she come here? Like. Aren't people going to guess not? Okay. Hmm. Those footsteps are there, though. Let vanish. Ah, there you go. It is him, isn't it? So he did not die, that means. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, that all kind of makes sense. <sighs> Whoa, that's what he said? Hmm. Um. Okay. But that's still dangerous in itself, the thing that he's telling her to do. Okay, don't shout out his name. 
who knows if, you know maybe there's someone listening Okay. All right. So yeah, they're they're finding trying to find Spanish. Oh, Zenigata. Damn. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> well, you know, all these years of trying to find Rupan and chasing him. Yeah, Zenigata has obviously become so strong and so... Yeah, go home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. Spanish. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Is he's broadcasting this because he wants the people to actually also stand up for themselves. No, like it's trying to cite a rebellion. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's, um, who's that guy? Who we saw in the... Ah! Okay, his name is Spanky. <laughs> So they had a motivation of actually breaking him out. Oh, his advisor of the king. Oh, that's why she was he was captured. Okay. Impossible. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so we need a real person. Uh, oh, that maybe that's why they're going to kidnap the daughter, you no? Know, because of the DNA authentication or something. Who knows? Ah. 
Ah, that's like every day for her. <laughs> okay. No. What? I was a kid. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Maybe not. No, maybe. No, no. The the DNA authenticator, whatever that is. That's why maybe the uh, king said that you are the key because she literally is the key. He meant that in a literal sense or something. Okay. And he'll be like, oh, they, ha they have a dummy with it. So re recording. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Oh no. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, God, his nails it makes me uncomfortable. Okay, well, <laughs> not even listening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that Rupan? Is that Rupan? I feel like a... No, no, that's not Rupan. No, no, that's not Rupan. I felt as if the voice was very familiar, but no. Whoa, it's like bounty hunters. <laughs> so that's the name of the Tara. <laughs> That'll be their downfall. <sighs> okay. What?
Oh my god. Enter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, wait, this... Okay. <clears throat> I don't think so. Maybe. Gold? AU? No, wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> One more glass please. Oh, it's Rupan. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, she doesn't like <laughs> Oh my god Oh no, is this? Okay, Spanish Yeah, he also needs him for the oh my god, where did they go? Rupan is also gone. Oh, great. He's written bang. Oh! <laughs> Damn, his luck. Rupan's luck is just insane. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh my god. Damn, they're huge, these people. Oh. <laughs> wow, those bullets are huge. I can it's like making holes in the ground. Um Ooh. <laughs> wow, the the guy ran away. Okay. Oh, was, wait, who the <laughs> God, I, I thought it was someone else. <laughs> God.
Oh no, maybe she's also a bounty hunter. <laughs> she's also a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, is Zenny got that? <laughs> My God. Whoa. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Look at the bro. <laughs> Wait, who? God, it's not that long. <laughs> oh no, maybe, maybe the guy will help him get out or something. <laughs> what? My god, oh, yo, the card. Oh no. That's Rupan. <laughs> In this guy's, I'm sure of it. He bound the guy and took his clothes. Oh my god, I'm sure of it. Oh no. Oh no, she's again going to get captured. I feel like. Oh my god. What the? Like is target practice? Wow, it's full of weapons. That's a weird, um... <clears throat> yeah, maybe that's the secret. Maybe you have to throw it somewhere. Oh. Okay. Okay. What's the password? Okay. Hmm. All right. There you go. <clears throat> password. A minute. Oh no. Um Okay. 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 Run. Okay, what's happening here? Is this Spanish? It is him. What the hell is he doing? He's destroying his own place. Or maybe... 
<laughs> yeah, she's going back to her room, definitely. <laughs> okay, it is him. Wait, wasn't he shooting? Okay, it was him. Um... Okay. <laughs> they left. Didn't even search. I'm guessing because she's one of the officials, so did not suspect her. Wait, who was that guy outside? Keeping an eye on them. Oh. Interestance. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, now what? Oh, someone's keeping an eye on them. Who was that outside? Whoa, what the? Who? Wait, where, where did they come from? Well, you've got the wrong purse. Oh wait, that is Lupin. Oh, I thought... Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Love and what? <laughs> I thought they changed. <laughs> That's why love, okay. Makes sense, I guess. Or oh, maybe it is someone else, that other guy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I knew it. For a second there, I thought I was wrong, but... Uh... <laughs> oh my god oh god okay Oh my god, it's the... Okay! Okay... Hmm... 
Dạ. Wow, what the? Great. Well, he did that to make, uh, yeah, make her afraid. There you go. Wait, she, I think she gave the wrong in information, didn't she? Like Rupan is there, but is Spanish also there? I don't think so. Or maybe he is, or maybe not. I don't think he'll, she'll say it. Maybe she misdirected them or something. Wow. God. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, so this is Rupan and the crew, I'm guessing. No, wait. No, that's uh. Oh, yeah, that is Rupan. Uh, wait, is that Fujiko? No, who is that? Yeah, it is. Oh uh, boy, she's she's waiting for them because you know that she knows that he needs needs her help for this. Whoa, what? <laughs> My God. Solar says. Okay. Ultimate. Oh. Like that's why I'm guessing that's why we need like they they need punish. You know, as Spanish said that he won't kill me. Because maybe he himself is the... <clears> Thirty <throat> <laughs> seventy. <laughs> oh! Oh! My God! <laughs> All right, they're here. Crisis, the headhunter, and Ole. There you go. So I think Ole directed them here because then she knew that Lupin would be here. And 
and she wanted to make them fight. Okay. Oh wait, maybe she's trying to trap them here. Okay, that must be it. Because I, but I don't think Spanish is here. Like she wouldn't so readily tell them his location otherwise. So yeah, she might be actually trying to trap them here by triggering the alarm or something. The animations will... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh. Um, I don't think anyone's in, in inside is inside. Yeah, he's not inside. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, but yeah, it won't work. PSL doesn't know. Hmm. Okay, here we go. That, there you go. Yeah, I know this was going to happen. Well, time to run for your life, I guess. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, wait, he's here. Oh, he was following them. Oh, okay. It's going to open, I think, now. Yeah, it's going to open. Yeah, they're going to try to stab him from the back or something. Oh, okay. Whoa, what the... Okay, it's open. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go, it matches. You know what? One thing would be funny if they actually trap them inside or something. You know, they go inside for the treasure or whatever. <laughs> and they trap them inside and close the door and run away. <laughs> mm -hmm. My god.
Oh my god, look at this. Oh, it's full of trap even from the inside. Okay, let's look at the treasure, what it is. What? Whoa, this looks... Oh, I think Panish needs to sit there or something. Yeah, because... Mm. Oh my god, what's he doing? Yeah, is he like reconfiguring it? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. That's what he did. Okay. Yeah, here we go. What the? Oh! Whoa! Yo! Damn, his aim! What the? Wait, was it someone else? Wait, it was Rupa? Wait, 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 wait! Wait, then how did the authentication work? Oh, because... No, 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 wait, what? Oh my god, that was a big twist. I was not expecting that. Wait, then who, where's the real Panish? Was it him from the beginning, that means? I think so. From the beginning, it was actually Rupan. So Panish actually died. Come on, Zenigata! Goemon! I'm uh, not Zenigata, sorry, Goemon! Oh! Oh! <laughs> the grenade launcher! <laughs> I think Zeni, uh, um, Goemon would be a good match for the head, headhunter. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Wow. Okay, yeah. Oh! Uh, never mind.
Ah, uh, yeah, these are. There's too many of them. Oh! Oh! My God, these things are relentless. Come on. <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a boomerang knife. Great. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. There's only one bullet. Oh! What? What is he doing with that bullet? God! What the hell was that? Yo! <laughs> My god, that's a... Oh, that was really cool. Mm. I never seen anyone fire a bullet like that before anywhere. Wow. Oh, that was insane. So it was him from the beginning, that means? I think so. So the one who crisis saw in the airport that was also him like rupan in this disguise i don't know yeah it's over Ah. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> and there you go. It's over. Oh, it's gold. My god, those are all gold. So this is the treasure. Damn, it's raining gold. Not raining, but... <laughs> okay, I kind of saw it was written AU. AU for Aurum, that is gold. <laughs> So that I can I thought it was some something that I missed saw like I thought it was something else but 
apparently it was gold it was written written there this gold powder okay oh wait from <laughs> oh yeah what was that about oh so my god that was insane i never realized that um wait what um no oh my god zenigata <laughs> oh great Yeah, he doesn't care. Okay. Okay, there you go. Wait, so the resistance was something that he made? Like Rupan? <laughs> yes. Wow! Um, that's a stretchable handcuff. <laughs> um, wait, wait, what? Wait, is that Rupan? I think that's Rupan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, okay. Wait. Okay, so that was not. I thought. Okay, I thought for a second. I thought it was Rupan in Zenkata's disguise. Hmm. Yeah. So, Punish is really dead. That means. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe Rupan has something under his sleeve. Whoa! What the? Where did he come from? Wait, who was that? Is that the headhunter? No. No, I don't think that's the headhunter.
Um, okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, so... Okay, so this time they really were able to get the treasure, in a way. <laughs> I thought it would, be, like, again, be like a disappointment, like all the other movies. Like, they won't be able to get anything, but they got it. However, you know, modest amount that is, but still. Damn, the songs are really like, great, like all the movies that I've seen. Okay. Alright, so, wow, I really enjoyed this movie. This is great, one of the best. Oh boy. Especially the twist in the end really um, Usually these type of like you know twists. I am able to kind of like, you know guess them from the uh, You know like most of the times where there's like usually one character who is in a disguise of another but This went so naturally It didn't even make me suspect anything uh, like you know the end almost in the end when sh when um what was his name? Oh my god, I forgot his name. The prince. Pe Penning? Okay, anyways. Uh, when he started cracking. That's when I thought, okay, maybe... Yeah, this is a disguise. My god. So, does, so that means that all the resistance member that we saw like there was something that Rupan was leading in, in, in you know obviously in, in the disguise and everyone thought it was him it was the prince he has come back and that's why they followed him but no one knew it was uh, Rupan under the disguise and you know Rupan kind of took advantage of that and used like you know kind of made them like you know do the rebellion and he himself kind of snuck out and got like you know was able to do the real job here all right another thing the ending scene like uh we see the headhunter again and when they cut him down it turns into gold so I'm guessing that was like the program, you know, the nano machine program that was still ongoing. And I think it was something like that. That was obviously not the real headhunter because he's dead. Okay. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. Okay, so one thing um, I need to check out is. Uh, what was the name? Hmm. Uh, the name of the prince, what was it? I completely forgot. Just a sec. I was still, like, you know, like, <laughs> I was even. I... Hmm. Panish, okay, Panish. I, I like. I started calling him Penny from. <laughs> okay, Panish, Panish. Okay, and Oleander. Oleander was obviously the girl. Now, one thing, another thing that I want to check out is uh, the voice actress, uh, actress or actor. I'm not sure. I think uh, it's uh, it's Conan, Detective Conan's voice. VA, isn't it? Okay, there you go. Yes, voice actor. Uh, Oleander's voice actress Minami Takayama 
and yeah detective conan's voice actress is also minami takayawa uh, takayama there you go that was i was kind of it, that was kind of bothering me for quite a long while because i really thought like, you know like, it was very recognizable the voice it was so same okay so this movie here uh <clears throat> so again our like you know lupin and his crew they're here for a treasure you know like for finding a treasure uh, Fujiko is also here for the treasure and she like as she usually does you know she kind of gets in as a like, in a disguise uh, and tries to find out the treasure from within and whereas Rupan does it from the outside so okay so one thing um, in, as I said it really tricked me and I think uh, the reason why I was completely tricked and I thought that uh, no now punish punish is this punish is the real punish is because punish was introduced from the beginning you know almost from the beginning if punish kind of was introduced from the middle of the show or something you know i would have thought that okay i would have probably been a little suspectful but she he was introduced from the beginning and that kind of made me feel like okay so this really is a character in this show and he came back and they did everything so uh, well that it didn't even actually uh, you know feel as if the Spanish is actually someone in disguise and like I, I should have like you know I should have caught on to it because uh, they never really showed Spanish and Rupan together at all like that should have probably been something that caught my attention that should have caught my attention but it never did because from the beginning yeah Spanish was like a completely individual character i thought so okay so so what he did here as far as i could understand he actually took punishes disguise to trick the um, headhunter and uh crisis that was his name uh yeah crisis uh, to trick crisis and the headhunter that's why he was standing in the airport and he kind of gave crisis a little glimpse of him and that's from where his plan started so his main plan was as far as i could understand lupin's plan was make everyone think that Panish is alive uh, inside the rebellion make everyone get involved in the rebellion and them getting you know them they're going to get busy in the rebellion and somehow use that as a distraction and an opportunity to sneak into the cave and get in now one thing i am unable to um figure out is how did the authentication work even did the uh like you know it, it seemed as if uh the authentication the nano machine authentication that was going on it took the fingerprints it took i'm guessing the retina scan and you know the face scan as well the face scan i can understand it might have been fooled how were they able to fool the uh you know the eye scan the retina scan and the fingerprint like that's really kind of i don't know like i have a question about because you know like they really need the actual person to do this to replicate that like how would even they be able to replicate the um, dna the not dna but you know the, the fingerprint the the eye how were they able to do that uh i don't know that's one thing i think maybe they kind of revealed that somewhere in this movie but i cannot really pinpoint that no like i'm talking about the reason why it worked how it worked you know like how they were able to even and where did they even get that disguise that's another thing so i think they probably somehow very discreetly showed that in this movie and i just cannot pinpoint it anywhere let me know in the comment section if they actually gave us an explanation how that happened because you know like like fingerprint and the eye like all these things i i doubt they can be replicated so easily without the actual person being alive like if if panish was alive and he was there 
I could have been like, yeah, like it could have been understandable that, yeah, maybe they kind of had some kind of a replicating device that was able to do that. But Spanish it has been dead for quite a while. So how did, how were they able to do that? Did they get some kind of data from somewhere and was able to replicate it? Let me know if they have you know, kind of discreetly showed it in this movie and I myself was unable to catch it or pinpoint it. Okay, the funny thing here is they, <laughs> you know, the headhunter and crisis has been, had been, you know, chasing a wrong, a person who doesn't even exist throughout this whole movie, that's Spanish. And they were also trying to uh, chase Lupin. Like, so they were basically the same person. So they were, <laughs> you know, they were trying, they, they thought they were chasing two pe pe person, but it was actually one and the same. <laughs> that's kind of funny. And one thing this movie had a lot is disguises. It was full of disguises, you know. Uh, for example, the time when Rupan took the old man's disguise and uh, slipped past Zenigata, that time, uh, the whole, like, you know, he was all the time, he was in Spanish's disguise. And, like, you know, so many disguises were used here. And even uh, Jigen used Spanish's disguise for a little bit. Hmm. And yeah. Okay, one thing I kind of thought was that maybe the princess, not the, the princess, yeah, I think, the girl, the blonde haired girl, the actual daughter. You no, know, one thing that I thought, I thought that it, she would be more involved in this movie, but I think she was basically there for a little bit, you know, time, because she, it really seemed that the whole story would probably evolve, involve around that girl. When I saw her in the beginning, you know, in the beginning scene when the headhunter was sitting and the blonde girl was sitting beside him, you know, I thought that, okay, maybe this will like be something revolving her because, you know, she seems like, uh, you know, you know, like kind of like a princess character. And I thought that, yeah, maybe Rupan would kidnap her and everything is going to go like, you know, like revolve around her. But she had a different part in the story. She was mainly involved with Fujiko, but Fujiko helps her get out of it, of that place. And uh, yeah, that was basically it. And the whole story kind of revolved not around her, but around um, Ole, Oleander. And okay, so where is it? All right, so one thing um, I was, as I said, I kind of saw, but I was unable to properly pinpoint it because it went so fast. One th obviously, one thing that uh, Jigen says was like one of the biggest hint. He says that so maybe the treasure is hidden in the nano machines. And I really did not pause, like, you know, kind of pay attention to that. But now that I think about it, he was correct here. And another thing that I saw at that moment was, was did not say anything because it went so quickly, I wasn't able to properly see is the ingredients. When uh, Rupan was kind of, you know, uh, trying to find what the nano machines were made of and all that stuff. And, you know, it was written there the ingredients, atomic quantity, atomic number and component AU, AU for aurum or gold. So yeah, like that, that's one of the biggest hint. And I think Rupan kind of like, you know, was able to realize from that, that yeah, the nano machines were actually the treasure in itself. And something is going to happen if it was, if they were able to get in and was able to use that, the disc to actually override the whole system. And it would turn into gold because it, it was it, like, you no, know, the ingredients, it was written that it, the ingredient is in itself is gold. So yeah, that. And yeah, Rupan does says here that the inside indeed, like that's when he realized that, yeah, this is how this is going to go. <laughs> and like a lot of hints are actually given throughout the whole movies, not only this, like most of the uh, movies that I've seen, but as because, you know, the reason why it, it goes so quickly that you're properly unable to actually 
you know like figure it out and you know it takes a little bit of time to actually process it in your head and by that time the scene is gone so you're properly unable to understand it and by the end when you like see everything unfurling you know everything coming into light you realize that oh like yeah this was hinted before i just was unable to properly process that so okay and <clears throat> the best part of this movie was obviously uh the disguise the twist that we saw here so <clears throat> So yeah, as I said, Rupan had his goal on doing that. He wanted to distract the headhunter and, you know, go like, so that means he had a lot of spare backup plans. I'm guessing like the first plan obviously was kidnapping the daughter, you know, the uh, princess. He did that, but then realized that it was like a trap. So that went out the window that was unable to, like, you know, that, that was that kind of gave no lead so i'm guessing after that he did not after that but yeah after that most probably he probably decided to go along with the you know the original plan that is using punish as like a distraction and distract them and i guess oleander was like uh what can i say a foreign element to this you know like she was not supposed to be in this plan but she somehow got into it so I'm guessing Rupan kind of started uh, you know, making his plan and it also tr you know, started involving Oleander in his plan as well. And that's why, you know, he went to the um, bar and uh, I'm sure that was like, uh, I don't know, maybe it was not like I I'm thinking like maybe it was like really a coincidence that he met Oleander in that bar but now no no it was not a coincidence at that moment I thought it was a coincidence because you know when Rupan came in he was like oh you're here like you know he seemed surprised and I also thought that yeah maybe this really is a coincidence he just came here because he wanted to find that uh, the, the other guy the old dude you know who, who's like the drunk dude <laughs> so I thought yeah maybe this was like a coincidence but then I like now that I'm thinking about it it probably was not a coincidence he knew that oleander was there that's why later on uh, uh jigen comes in with that disguise you know so that was part of the plan he knew oleander was here and uh rupan came in acted surprised you know like kind of um, uh, like, you know uh, like acted as if he, he was really surprised to see oleander there sat down kind of started drinking and the plan was all set jigen came in with the disguise as uh, uh, I always forget punish 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 and <clears throat> he kind of doesn't get inside he rounds away from the middle of the you know uh, from that door and so does Rupan run out and and then I was like okay where did punish go and then we see Rupan only and that also makes sense because that was just a trick that he did he acted like that he was obviously not going like uh, you know chasing panish because it, he knew that was uh jigen so <laughs> so yeah that was also part of the plan so that's what probably happened as i said like oleander was obviously like a foreign element he had no idea someone would get involved in this uh, thing in the plan that um lupan made but as soon as he got she got involved in it I think Rupan changed probably tweaked his plan changed his plan made a plan which would also involve her somehow and help her him get to the treasure and that's what he did he started involving Oleander kind of met her as uh, punish and you know like tricked her in a way and you know like told her to keep an eye out on the headhunter and stuff and I, I wonder how much he anticipated you know Rupan like may, um, I, I think maybe he also anticipated her getting caught uh, you know like her getting caught and uh, maybe he also anticipated that she would get caught and they would probably bring her you know to the uh, not they would bring her no she, no okay okay so he probably anticipated that Oli uh, like, you know Oli would also like you know kind of lie to them and bring them to the uh, treasure place so that he could trap them there and you know in, in during that distraction uh, the resistance would start fire like you know 
take that opportunity and try to capture the main city so damn that means like uh, lupin has anticipated the whole thing you know it's like he was it's, it's, it was as if he was playing chess like he he knew what the opponent is going to do you know like three or four moves ahead he was planning so damn so he anticipated that uh, um, oleander would get caught he also anticipated that oleander would probably lead them to the treasure place because that would help the resistance and anticipating that he made like you know put on his disguise and followed them you know followed uh, oleander and in the like you know at the perfect timing he met them there got inside and my god yeah and then everything happens you know boy god yeah that was really something okay and now one thing another thing that means uh oleander also had a little as he as she said a little suspicion um, because oleander says that yeah i understood when you kissed me because he never smoked and but i'm sure she still had a little like you know a little uh what do you call it hope that yeah maybe this really is spanish and you know he, he she still tried to help him so yeah wow a lot of things were happening in this whole movie you know side by side and uh, okay and obviously zenigata's part here was quite minimal but i really liked the portion he was involved in where he actually you know when the people like you know the the police force of this place tries to uh, take him you know arrest him <laughs> and says that yeah get out of here and Zenigata was like you know sitting down was not moving eating his stuff and when they tried to <laughs> you know try to uh, you know arrest him yeah he is like a stone completely like not moving at all like yeah obviously like he has been following Rupan for so long <laughs> I like you know I can wonder how many life-threatening situations he has gone through so you know you know some police officer from this like you know from anywhere uh would would not be able to best him in strength like he is too damn strong now <laughs> like like you know following lupan has trained him and he's like some insane <laughs> like you know strong person now and uh, yeah another cool thing that was like you know i really loved that section was like when um uh fujiko fujiko tricks the headhunter by using <laughs> the recording like damn that was that was intelligent like he not like i was thinking they were going to get caught you know because he just she made it a dummy there and i thought like the headhunter would come in and would get suspicious and try to see if the daughter really was there but I did not expect the recording happening, you know, that she recorded. They kind of showed that before when, you know, Fujiko kind of showed us that recorder and said that, you know, like, uh, like I have an idea. But at that moment, I did not really, un you know, was unable to actually think that, yeah, this, she was going to do something like that. But she did it. And that was very intelligent, you know, like <laughs> she made not only one, but two recording. One is like. I don't want to see your face and get out or something like that. <laughs> My God, that was funny. Okay. And. Okay, what else? What else was here? okay another thing so did F so was fujiko aware that rupan was here like, it seemed as if she was actually waiting for them there you know in the tre in the place where the treasure was it seemed as if she was waiting there something 
So I guess they knew that they each like you know they were there. Both of them knew that they were actually here, and yeah, probably they anticipated. I think so. Hmm. And. Okay, so yeah, this whole movie was really insane. Like you know the amount of what can I say? Like it was as if like you know like they were like reading each the whole thing like they had the whole plan planned out from the beginning and they even anticipated what the enemy was going to do. Like, you know like from the beginning like from uh, Rupan's taking the disguise and kind of showing his face in the airport from that you know from that from then it started the whole plan and fujiko coming in as a you know a fighter you know here and her kind of making like you know like showing such an incredible performance that the headhunter was impressed and he told her that you will be with my daughter you'll keep an eye on her you know like from there like you know all these like you know like things like that planning that they made one after the other kind of anticipating what's going to happen one after the other it was insane here especially this movie this was just amazing really like you know like it was really surprising i really was not expecting the end something like that like it was actually rupan in disguise so yeah that was fantastic it, that really impressed me okay another thing um you know uh the ending where Rupan that was kind of funny you know like they were like all like <laughs> gathering the gold and then suddenly they it, it, like you know they're all out like you know running away and Rupan is like why the hell are you leaving me here and they're like yeah the, the guy behind you we don't actually feel comfortable when he, <laughs> he's involved so goodbye and Zenigata comes in and <laughs> Zenigata captures him, you know, with with the handcuff, and <clears throat> so here's what, like, I don't know, like, here's what happened. So I thought, like, you know, when they showed us that uh, in the end, like, you know, they showed us that Rupan kind of stretched away from the camera, and Zenigata suddenly stood up, and Zenigata got surprised, and then we suddenly cut to the portion where Oli is on the cliff, standing and looking at her pendant. And Zenigata comes in and starts talking with her, you know, and she asks him that, you know, where's Rupan? At that moment, I thought that, oh, maybe this is Zenigata that we had seen. Is Maybe it's Rupan in disguise, you know. Maybe something happened off camera there. And he took Zenigata's disguise, came here, is talking to Oli, and is going to, you know, <laughs> board the helicopter and get out of this place, you know. And when they reach Japan or something, he's going to take off his disguise and run away. I thought he was going to do something like that. You know, I was thinking. But then when Zonigata so shows the handcuffs with the fake hand, I realized that nah, this, this is Zonigata. Rupan really did run away. So that was like a fake hand that Rupan had. And he stretched it out and took it off and ran away from there. It was something like that, I think. <laughs> My god. And then we all like you know then we see that uh uh ole kind of throwing away the pendant and that really shows that she is over this you know like she she was all this time she has been uh, probably you know changed changed to the past and like you know we also kind of got to see like she i think she was under the impression that the king actually killed uh, you know punish and the you know the guy the headhunter he actually is like someone like you know not the one who killed him or something like that and you know that was probably something that was chaining her to the past but now that she knows the truth and everything and she you know she knows that yeah pen is uh, uh, punch is not coming back anymore uh she you know she threw away the pendant and you know it was like uh what can i say um just a sec. Wait, wait. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, th wait a minute. I'm, I'm, the thing that I was saying that, you know, like uh, he, he is out from her past. And she was able to get away. Uh, not get away, but. Oh, what do you call it? She was able to move past her. Uh, okay, one thing's kind of bothering me. Just a sec. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that portion again where Lupin tries to run away and Zengatha had caught him. And Zengatha kind of freaks out. She, he's like, huh? What the hell? And um, Ole is on the cliff. Okay, as I said, this section kind of bothered me. I, like, you know, when Zenigata comes in, I feel as if, like, I had a feeling that Zenigata was Rupan here in this guys. Because the way he kind of comes and stands on the cliff, but along, like, you know, beside Ole, I felt as if it was Rupan, you know? But then, I, you know, as I said, like, I kind of changed my mind when I saw the hand and I thought that, okay, nah, that was not Rupan, that was Zenigata. But then again, it's kind of bothering me. You know why? Because the question he asks her here, which are you? Um, a secret agent or a resistance member? This question bothers me. Didn't uh, he ask, like, you know, say the same thing before when uh, Ole kind of, uh, like, you know, when, when they jumped in the water and, uh, you know, Ole, I think Ole said something like, I am a, what did she say in the beginning? You know, she kind of said that I'm a, what did she say? Just a second, let me see if I can find that portion. Uh, you know, when the whole uh, thing happens, they kind of start attacking Rupan and all of them. Okay, uh, they jump from the place. We'll f okay, the, here's what Rupan says. We'll figure out which only you are soon enough. Wait. Okay, here it is. Okay, uh, when Ole Oleander tells her name to Rupan, uh, Rupan says that suits you perfectly. Uh, did you know Oleander signify beauty and honesty in France? And she says that in England they signify danger and peril. And when they jump from that place, she, Rupan says that okay, we'll figure out which one you are. This thing, you know. Then, as I said, the thing that's actually bothering me in the end is the way Zenigata comes up, you know, and stands in front, uh, like, you know, beside Ole, Ole, and asks her, what are you? Just a sec. Okay, god damn. Please. Okay, so here it is. Which are you? A secret agent or a resistance member this question is actually bothering me it's it's, it's it, it kind of seems as if you know like it was it's kind of similar to the question that rupan like you know like the, the, the statement before when she jumped like i'll figure out who which one you are it can, this, this question here that zenigata asks him her kind of seems similar to that and here again you know um it's weird, like, you know, I doubt Zenigata would suddenly come up and stand beside Ole and ask her a question like this. And here Ole is kind of smiling. And then uh, Zenigata says, well, I suppose I'll take my leave. That's why. Let me know, like, you know, like, as I said, is this really Rupan in Zenigata's disguise? I think so. Like, it, it, it really seems as something like that. The, the last statement that he actually tells here and the way everything goes yeah you know i'm 60 percent sure that is uh, not zenigata the the person we see in the end that is rupan in zenigata's disguise but the thing that actually throws me off here is when uh, ole asks him like uh, inspector zenigata um what happened to rupan 3 and he says that he ran away, shows the, uh, you know, handcuff with the fake hand. 
Now, this is where I kind of changed my mind before. I thought that, okay, this maybe real is, is the real Zenigata because, and then I thought that, you know, Lupin really did run away and that was like a fake bodysuit he was wearing. And he kind of snuck, like, you know, took his hand out of that. And Oli becomes happy here. Oh, God, like, yeah, this kind of throwing me off. That's why, you know, like, I feel as if it is Zenigata, but then again, I kind of feel like, no, it's maybe it's Rupan in disguise, Zenigata's disguise. So let me know, you know. Okay, and then, you know, uh, Ole kind of looks at the pendant. And as I said, like, you know, her past, you know, the thing that was shackling her down, she was able to get past that. And she says that, thank you. Uh, for, that was a nice dream. And yeah, you know, like it is kind of like a dream. Like she felt as if Punish is back. And she realizes now that, yeah, Punish won't come back anymore. It, it, it's like a good memory. And yeah. And then in the next scene, we see like, you know, Rupan, Fujiko, and them in the warehouse thing. And Rupan. You know, inserts the disc and the the headhunter the I, I think that was made by the nano machines I think so you know uh, because you know like uh, the headhunter got uh, swapped away by the gold the nano machine things and I'm guessing the nano machines kind of picked on that and kind of took his appearance and arrived here and Rupan slashes like you know shoots it slashes and Goemon slashes it and Fujiko and all of them come and shoot it and it transforms into gold. And yeah, that's the end. They get away with the money and I'm guessing Fujiko is going to take... <laughs> uh, how much did she say? 70, well, didn't she? Yeah, 70% of that. I guess at least they're getting something, you know. Unlike most of the movies where they <laughs> kind of like they are unable to get anything by the end. So, yeah. So yeah, guys, that was it. So, uh, let me know in the comment section, you know, like if the, the last scene that was really Zenigata or was it like Rupan in Zenigata's disguise? I think it is Rupan in Zenigata's disguise because like the hints, the symbolism in that last scene, it seemed as if it was something Rupan would say. So, yeah. Alright, so that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was my reaction to Rupan 3 Dead or Alive. Uh, fantastic movie. I really loved this one. Especially the twist. It, it really tricked me, you know, fooled me. I was unable to understand unless and until they, you know, uh, showed us that. I was unable to anticipate that. And yeah, that was great. And yeah, definitely one of the, you know, one of the greater like not greater but better movies uh i'm, I'm probably going to give this like a, uh i don't know like one of the best like top two or top three something like that this will be so yeah i really liked it so okay so that was it thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah, as I said, I think I said this in the before the video started, uh, I re started reacting to is that next week I'm going to um, react to a TV special, uh, which is uh, Rupan 3 Bye Bye Liberty uh, or Goodbye Lady Liber Liberty. And I'm going to do it like this, you know, one week I'll do one of the TV specials. The next week I'll do the movie, TV specials, movie like this, I'll go on. And when all the movies will end, I'll and start uh, reacting from Lupin part 4 and <clears throat> the other three parts I'll watch it on my own because there's a lot of episodes there and those episodes there's like 150 or 200 episodes I won't be able to react to them all so I'm going to check them on my own in my spare time and I'll react you know uh, to from Lupin 4 onwards 4, 5 and then 6 which is going to come out so so yeah guys, uh, thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next week with another Rupan reaction. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.